Hi everyone, I'm at Topito, is the closest launch to the city of Caracas. And this used to be my local site when I used to be, when I used to live here in Venezuela. And uh, I used to live very close, about 20 minutes away from here. I could fly over my house and that was pretty cool. So today I'm just gonna go for a ride here. The day is beautiful. I'm just waiting for some other pilots to arrive so we can fly together. And well, let's hope we can have a nice flight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is my hometown, Caracas. And more specifically, El Atillo down there. This is where I was born. This is where I grew up. And this is where I flew most of my life. So uh, yeah, let's see if I can go check out my house, my old house, my high school. Let's see if I can take you on a tour. So, yeah. take you to my high school it's down there where I spent 15 years of my life preschool elementary school high school everything in the same building all girls school Catholic school very conservative I don't miss it at all <laughs> I was a little bit kind of like a rebel to be there they tried to tame me but they didn't manage it <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like being in an old girl's school. I think being the shy girl that I used to be was better to be in an old girl's school, safer environment and not worry about boys and stuff. <laughs> being able to fly next to a city of I don't know five million people I'll look that up this is just incredible and now let's hop on to the next cloud I can tell you I know every corner of this area and a lot of the city. I went to college in the city so I used to go down there every day for five years and my parents they always took me to the city to run errands and stuff so we never stayed on this side of town the whole time so yeah some people stay isolated in this area for safety reasons or comfort but Back when I was little, this area wasn't that developed, so you had to go, you still had to go to Caracas to do a lot of errands. This neighborhood down there is Lomas de la Lagunita. And right before I left Venezuela, I used to live in an apartment down there in a neighborhood called Loma Linda. Such a contrast. You have a slum over there of Petare and then you have the town, the, the buildings, quite a contrast. Let's, let's go over here. All right, so I'm gonna head to this cloud and and then I think I'm gonna fly back and just cruise around and enjoy the view. Quite a bit of headwind, 
in this valley that's super narrow. Below me is the Guaire River, Caracas sewage, unfortunately. And this over here is Fila de Mariche. Over there you can see the city of Guarenas and Guatire. And yeah, this is the southeastern most whatever <laughs> part of Caracas. Well, this is no longer Caracas, this is the Miranda state. But you know what I mean. I might be getting a little bit greedy. Let's see, if I don't find anything, I'm just gonna fly back. Didn't find anything back there, so I'm just gonna head back and see what happens later. Yeah, it's pretty windy, 15k an hour wind. Not the kind of uh, wind speed and direction northeast to head there and uh, bomb out. No thanks. Let's go back. Well, I changed my mind. <laughs> I risked a little bit. I saw Carlos Daniel climbing and I decided to come back here to this quarry next to the big slum and it worked. Wow, the day is epic. Even seven years ago you needed better conditions to, to fly this far east and now, wow, with these gliders it's amazing. You don't need that high of a cloud base and that big of a day. So I'm gonna head back and now is the trickiest part to top land tricky top landing I have gotten spoiled with the landing fields in Europe <laughs> and I forgot how to land in a tight spot but I'm gonna take it easy An amazing flight it was great to be back here to my home site and uh, yeah top landing was great I ran out of battery unfortunately but uh, yeah it feels great to be here and to fly over my town my school my house and uh, see my hometown it's just it's great I also had a funny feeling when last time I flew here it was seven years ago and I flew with a D of a time and uh, to be here seven years later with a glider with such great performance like the Zeno 2 it was a feeling like when you go back to your your house like your childhood house and, and after you're an adult and you see everything is super small that was the feeling everything seemed so near that you, I could go anywhere I wanted so so yeah, I'm looking forward to flying here before I go back home, it's, it's a great sight. I couldn't fly again before I left, but flying there brought me great memories and I couldn't be more grateful with Rodrigo and his family for the invitation to fly again in this amazing place.